I finally have a solution for something that's been a huge bugbear for me and many others when it comes to your masonry gallery, especially when you have a random number of images, but you want to have a flat bottom to your masonry images. It's in your gallery. Let me show you the problem. When you drop images into the Elemental Gallery widget, you can set your number of columns. Well, you're going to have three, four, five, and all of that. And you can go and set how many images are present because you go and pick and choose them. And you've got a particular geometric layout, but you don't like how you can have gaps. And also, you don't like the fact that if you just went for a grid layout, it's kind of chopped off the image, like the head over there is missing. Yeah, I know you're going to say, well, just go and modify the aspect ratio but you're still going to get this orphan state over there. Let me pop this back to be 3-2. You're going to get the issue regardless of what size you go for. Now, one of the things that people tended to go for, especially when you have different sized images, and that's something I should make clear. If I would, this image here is like a landscape, this image is a portrait, uh, this image over here is a square, and there's loads of random sizes going on. So what people tend to say is, well, why don't you just go for the masonry approach? The problem with the masonry approach is you will get your images, but now again, you get loads of varied sizing and then you get an even worse orphaned approach. Like you get this gap appearing over here. It's not orphan. It's just a gap now, like a hole inside of your gallery. And if this was on your homepage, depending on how you've done your layout, it can break the flow of what you're trying to achieve. Like another image could appear here and it might now straddle below as well. Not great. So the third solution, and this is the one we're going to use to get the flat bottom, but also still have kind of like the masonry approach. And this is something I tried out a while ago, but now I've adapted it and I'm giving you a clue of what you need to do over here. So at the moment, we're using seven images. We're going to go over to the justified setting. And now we can see the variation in all of the images. Look, we've got a landscape over here, but that landscape is bigger than this particular landscape, square, portrait. You can see the variation there, right? But I still have this gap over here. The trick is to go and set your row height for these images. And I have found that you will have to play around with it, okay? Because I don't know what images you're using. But once you set your size, and every time you add in a new image, you might just need to adjust it and you can adjust it for the mobile desktop, uh, the desktop tablet and mobile as well, is get that bottom line, but it looks like it's not a proper masonry, but it is almost as good as. So let me show you. If I go to this justified and I set it to be 195, can you now see if I just go like that? We have a perfect layout. We can still see all of the images. If you went for a masonry, this image here looked pretty damn big. Let me remind you, look at this image over here and how it looks. And if I go to masonry, you might go, well, I'm okay with that big. Are you really? Because for me, it's now much bigger than what I actually intended it to be. And if I go for justified and I have a size of 195, look at that. Isn't that easier to see? I don't have to look up and down the entire page. And for anyone that's now wondering, well, what if you make the width of your container bigger or smaller? It doesn't matter. I mean, look at this. I've gone down 300. Even though that has got a size in there of 195, it actually maintains it. So it is still, well, not maintains it, but, you know, proportionately relative, relativity and all of that. It's, it's proportionate. So it's shrunken it down, but you still get that particular layout. When we get to mobile, it still looks good. But the important bit is how it would look on the desktop. So all I did was set it to justified and modify the row height because I see so many people that go, oh, I've got a gallery. Some images are square, some are portraits, some are landscape. What do I do? And some people start advising on dropping in a bit of code, dropping in a bit of JavaScript, go and use another elemental add-on or something like that. Think outside the box, but stay inside the box with the settings we got. All you've got to do is adjust the goddamn row height and you'll be fine. What about if I've got six images? So I want to show you some examples. Let me just shrink this down. Here's an example with six images. So all I've done is remove this square image over here. This time I went and set my row height to be 248. And if you do that, and again, you got to think back to what I said moments ago, right? You might look at that and go, yeah, it now works, but the images are too big. Remember what I said? Just go to your container and shrink it down. It's maintaining the layout as to how I want it to be. 
What about over here? If we now had five images, I found the size of 248 worked really well to get that perfect kind of like a uh, grid structure, rectangle, quadrilateral, or whatever you want to call it. That works really well. And again, if it's too big for you, shrink it down. Let's just do it over here. Let's just shrink that down. This could be a container inside of a container. All right, before anyone says, but I don't want to shrink down to six, seven, eight. You have, you do it on the container that is the parent or wherever this gallery sits. And what if you got four images? Look again, we're getting this perfect layout. We've got a landscape, a landscape. They are completely different sizes. We got a semi landscapey square sized image, not landscapes, more portrait, or is it more square? And then we've got a portrait image over here. And the size for this I found 248, which I had over here, still worked really well with four images. And again, if you think it's too big, just shrink it down like that. So you're getting the layout. And I want to just show you, okay, I'm probably sounding way too excited about this. But if I go and make this be masonry, this is what you would get. Is that really the layout you want? Look at that. Does that, does that make you feel good? What if I go and do a grid light structure? Well, I could go and set it to be one to one like that, but I'm losing the detail. It's still slicing his head off. Let's pop that back to be a uh, three, two over there. And again, remind yourself, this is the grid. This is the masonry. You tell me in the comments, what do you think? And now let's go and set this to be justified. Pop it back to be two, four, eight. Does that or does that not look significantly better than what I was showing you before seconds ago? I'm Imran from Web Squadron. I don't need to share any code with you because it's just a row height when you do justified. Like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon.